Ever wondered what happens when you call 111? Let's look at what takes place at St John to ensure patients receive the right care at the right time. When you call 111, an operator will ask you which emergency service you need, fire, ambulance or police. If you need an ambulance, your call will be connected to us. It will be answered by a call handler in one of our clinical control centres. St John manages clinical control centres in Auckland and in Christchurch. Our call handlers are highly qualified professionals, supported by an internationally renowned computer system to triage patients over the phone. Our call handler will first ask you where the emergency is, and you must be precise with the street address and suburb, especially if you're calling from a cell phone. If you're calling from a landline, we may be able to trace it. When our call and handler has found your exact location, the details are put into the computer-aided dispatch system. Right away, you'll be asked to repeat the location in full. This check will ensure we have your address correct so that a responding resource can go to the right place. Next, our call handler will ask for your phone number and then say, OK, tell me exactly what happened. On listening carefully and understanding what you've said, our call handler will ask a series of clinical questions. Your call will be summed up as one of over 1,200 endpoints. All endpoints are grouped into five priorities that have been pre-assigned by the St John Medical Director. Our incident priorities are purple, immediately life-threatening, for example, cardiac arrest or respiratory arrest. Red, potentially life-threatening or time-critical, for example, serious hemorrhage or chest pain. Orange, urgent slash potentially serious, but not immediately life-threatening. Green, neither serious or life-threatening. And grey, non-urgent. As soon as we assign a priority to an incident that needs a resource, our dispatcher will organise it. Our resources include many levels of clinical school, for example, first responder, emergency medical technician, paramedic and intensive care paramedic. These may come in a rapid response car or ambulance and sometimes by motorbike or bicycle. Our computer helps our dispatcher match the clinical skill with the best mode of transport. Our dispatcher also coordinates air support and arranges police and fire services if needed. For purple and red incidents, our dispatcher will send the response straight away and it will travel using lights and sirens. For orange incidents, the response will also be immediate, but it may travel at normal road speeds. Incidents categorised as green or grey may be referred to a paramedic or a nurse to follow up. So let's look at a scenario with a high priority incident. You have found someone who has collapsed and is not breathing. Our call handler will immediately generate a purple incident and an ambulance will be dispatched straight away. Our call handler will stay on the line, asking you questions until the triage process is complete. This is to reassure you, to keep you calm and tell you exactly what to do. Our dispatchers monitor the incident and any further information will be sent to the ambulance crew as they come to your patient. Our call handler will give you instructions which may include how to position the patient, how to check for breathing, and how to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. You will be asked if there is a defibrillator or AED available, and if so, send someone to get it. The instructions we give you may be different from first aid training you might have received. However, you should always follow through with what our call handler tells you. We will stay on the line with you for as long as possible when a patient is not alert, is having a cardiac or respiratory arrest, choking, an imminent childbirth, or for certain psychiatric type calls. And here's a scenario with a low priority incident. If your patient has symptoms that are not classified as serious, life-threatening or time critical, for example, aches, pains and vomiting, our call handler will complete the prioritisation assessment before an ambulance is sent, and then advise you what will happen next. We may send an ambulance or tell you a registered nurse or paramedic will ring you back. You must keep the phone line free so they can contact you for a further clinical telephone assessment. At the end of the clinical telephone assessment, you will be told what to do. The outcome may include self-care, referral to a GP, attending a local accident and medical centre, or other community health providers, or an ambulance may be sent. Whatever the priority, our call handler will give you clear instructions or play a pre-recorded message on what to do next, including calling us back if anything changes. At St John, 
We respond to 111 calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our highly trained staff, backed by first class systems, provide a complex yet robust service that ensures patients receive the right care at the right time. We are proud of our ability to quickly locate, assess, and dispatch the best emergency care across New Zealand. We are here for life.